Hello everyone, in case you are new here, my name is Martin and on this channel I talk about Photoshop, mainly about retouching, about non-destructive retouching. And today I want to talk about Studio Portrait Retouching. I just recorded Premium Course, so if you straight away interested in the Premium Course start to finish, the link is in the description on Skillshare. Uh, but if you want to know uh, what is this course about now I would like to have a quick walkthrough uh, what we did on this portrait so you can see for example that's the before um, it's already after raw conversion in the image and this is after edit so I want to talk about what I did on this image what's in this group and you can uh, see the full process of what was done to this image and if you want to have deep look into what I did on this image, you can check the course. So first of all, I'm going to turn off all of the groups so we can start from the raw conversion. Uh, raw conversion is always very simple process to me, especially when it comes to the retouching, um, because what I usually make and what I believe is the right way of doing is making the image suitable for you to make the retouching as easy as possible so i usually flatten the image just a little bit especially when it comes to the studio portraits and studio beauty portraits uh, which this one could qualify uh, after that uh, we clean up the image and as the cleaning up process what we did uh, we clean up the background uh, we clean up the skin of course and also if needed uh, such a part as the hair because sometimes the image has a lot of cross hair and you can see on this image They stands out. So I try to tidy this up uh, As much as possible at the same time to preserve the natural features of the hair because you don't want to make them fake also I did work on the facial hair that were quite troublesome on this image. So a uh, few things I did, skin retouching, background retouching, hair retouching, and facial hair uh, removal. Then, of course, a Dutch and burn technique. You might be familiarized with this. I talk about Dutch and burn technique here on YouTube. And also I talk about this a lot in my premium courses. So if you are not new person to my premium courses, you probably know the Dutch and burn technique. It just does require a lot of practice and it's basically painting with the light. So um, brightening parts and darkening. So you can see, for example, these areas we just brightened up and this area we darkened. Uh, to uneven the skin and to make it flawless. Of course, working with the contrast, I did work selectively. And in this course, I did something a little bit different, which you can see right now. I did not want to make something very standard. Um, when you look at the portrait images, they often have the same light and the same standard contrast so i also wanted to show you how you can use the certain technique to make the image washed out as this one so you can see i actually wash out the image um, using the exposure adjustment layer and i'm going to show you this uh, for sure on this channel and also I used mask um, the change in the range of the mask just to adjust and uh, the lights for the perfect contrast so this is the outcome uh, color grading and in this course I talk in depth so when it comes to the lights contrast I talk about adjustment layers that are useful for working with the lights and when it comes to the color I'm also talking about the adjustment layers that are useful for the color so not only I'm doing the color grading but actually I'm doing the walkthrough uh, all adjustment layers that are useful for the color. So if you don't understand some adjustment layer, like you will find out in this course. And the same is about every single part. Um, I'm comparing the retouching tools, um, doing introduction to Dutch and Burn, I'm doing the introduction to the lights, introduction to colors, talking about adjustment layers, and of course, uh, at the end, final 
adjustments, which is mainly adjusting the light even better uh, and adjusting the color even better to get the final result, um, adding up a little bit of noise at the end. I'm a huge fan of noise and I also talk on this channel why the noise for me is important and sometimes we should consider uh, using noise. So if this is something uh, you think you'd like, if this is something you want to do uh, with your images or maybe you're a retoucher, you want to learn some retouching, you don't have much of the experience, uh, I do really think this is great class which is not too long and then it basically show the process from start to finish. So it's straight information on what needs to be, be done and how to work creatively, which might be the one of the best um, ap approaches uh, for retouching. You can spend two hours on watching the video and, and you know how to retouch professionally. So in the future, you might want to make it your job if you're a photographer. Um, for sure, it will improve your images uh, drastically. So once again, before, after, link, link is in the description and my website in the description if you want to see my portfolio, my Instagram, all the informations are there. And I will come to you shortly with some short tutorials on this YouTube channel. So see you later.